what's up this is going to be an informative chat with you guys about what's about to take place with the channel the websites and the online courses I usually start my New Year's resolutions and stuff in December. I don't wait to January. What we're going to do, or should I say me and my team, is we're getting ready to close HustlerKungFuLifeSkills.com. Getting ready to, now for those of you who have courses and stuff there, it's not going to disappear. But the domain name's going to change and some other stuff. But it's not going to happen overnight, so don't freak out. Um... That's closing. Disruptive mail will stay open, but we're going to remove the money aspect of it. It seems that many people are not really keen on making more money as they are into getting their dicks wet. It's very interesting. So disruptive mail is going to be all about game, getting women, relationships, and some manhood stuff, confidence, um, what is it to be a man? That's all that's going to be a disruptive male. Then the new thing, moneyaudible.com. And let me explain that. I have been through two recessions in entering into my third, right? And I have done wildly and vastly different things. I used to sell office furniture. I used to buy storage auctions. I used to do all of these things and I have seamlessly moved from one thing to another from selling furniture to storage auctions to YouTube to writing a book to creating online courses to now creating an online university. And I was like, that's what we do. What is an audible in football? Move up to the line. Move up to the economic line. Oh, shit. Hey, hut one, hut two, bravo three, bravo three. They start changing the play because it's like what we were going to do is not going to work. They got that Tampa two going on. We, we, you know, so once you get up there, you have to make big decisions very quickly. And also another reason that the new thing is going to be money audible and we're going to talk about this a lot, is everybody is going for the long bomb. That play where you're at the 10-yard line, it's fourth and two, and instead of running play, you launch a long bomb. The guy catches it at the, let's see, the 30, and he goes 60 yards. That is the play that is very exciting, and that's what a lot of people like. But you know what the failure rate of the long bomb is? And that's what most people are going, that's what most people are predicating their retirement on the long bomb. And a few will make it, most will not. So we're getting ready to. Oh, I should say when hustler kung fu life skills.com closes. I will not be moving the content. I will not be moving the content. Money Audible is going to start with a fresh, clean slate. Oh, yeah. For those of you who are members of Disruptive Mail, uh, Hustlers Kung Fu, well, uh, H Undergrad, I'm just going to move you over at your perspective levels. So... Up here, I have never owned, never owned a business. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know where to go. Nine, nine, nine. We're gonna, we're gonna bring you into it. And the next one, side business. Say you do eBay. Say you're hustling. Say you um, have a small business. That's gonna be side business. That's one ninety nine. Self employed. You guys are gonna have radically different needs than people in group one and group two. You already have some going on. And typically from my research and talking to a lot of y'all, it always comes down to two things. Sales and management. <laughs> Those are the two barriers that you have at the self-employed level because you don't know how to manage people. You don't know how to hire. You don't know how to create an organization. 
uh, last video I put up about that, a lot of people were, um, well, not a lot, just only two. They were a little upset that I was talking about the fundamentals and the sound and practical part on how to hire people and build an organization. See, this goes back to that long bomb. Everybody wants to be the one person, multi-million dollar business enterprise. I have done that. But before I did that, I ran a physically, mentally taxing business that served customers in person and online for almost 10 years. I did that before I did this. Many of you are trying to do this without doing that. You can get with this or you can get with that. It ain't going to work. Let's take Gary V. Gary V says it all the time. I was working in the family liquor store and I came on the social media and I used to sit and I used to watch customers as they came in. Anyone that's had a business where they had to interact with customers and ask a lot of questions has literally platinum in their mind in terms of data analysis and customer behavior, which you can bring online. And then the longer you do it, the more intuitive you will be. But there are many of you who have never done that and you want to come online and make big money, but you have no business skills, no sales skills, nothing. Just a good looks and a smile. That ain't going to make it in this recession. That is not going to make it. And then for you business owners, you have a whole host of different uh, agendas, different problems, different things going on. You have a serious problem because typically you're going to. Oh, hold on. That was funny. Okay. Typically, you're going to have management, marketing, sales, uh, employee. You're going to have a whole different ball game than never own, side business, self employed. As a business owner, you're going to have more loot. You're going to need more attention. Because, see, the never own people, you really don't need a lot of attention. You don't really need to talk to me. You need to take courses, go out, execute, run that play, run that play, run that play, get your jersey dirty, and move up the ranks. Because uh, I'll talk about that in a minute. No, I'll talk about that now. I'll, many people want to talk, and they want, they're seeking permission is whatever they're thinking about doing, is it okay? That's your job. That's something you have to do for yourself. I can't make that decision for you. You should. All right, so we're going to get to the money. We're going to change the name of the channel, if I haven't changed it already. Uh, change the graphics. Um, change a lot of stuff and focus on the money audible because we're in a time where people are freaking out financially. There's a generation, people my age, they have kids in college, they have their parents retiring or their parents in need, so they're kind of squ squeezed in the middle and they're trying to like, hey, let me go out and start a business. When you got these kids, which take a tremendous amount of time, you got your parents, not as much time, but they need your presence. And then you want to go out and start a business. And this is why I speak to my young people, my 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 year olds. You guys need to be burning the candle at all ends of the, of the spectrum right now versus just pissing around your time. Because this next recession is going to dynamically change the economic and social economic landscapes of the world. Like millennials. Millennials do not like talking to people on the phone. If you call a millennial and they don't really know you, they may actually tell you, hey, text me and hang up on you. That is a serious paradigm because what millennials don't have is the ability to connect and create relationships. They're going to sort that out. You know, the millennials are like the hippies of the 60s. You know, free love, LSD, 
uh, cocaine, Woodstock. What people are saying about millennials are the same things people said about the hippies. And who are the hippies? There are Brett Kavanaugh's. <laughs> there are doctors. There are, I mean, most of them turned out okay. They had to figure some stuff out. This whole, we're not going to date women uh, free. This has happened before. And it keeps coming back to that nuclear family model. Like, hey, you know, uh, we need to put a family together. So a lot of this stuff socially is going to work itself out. But financially, we have many, many people who are in dire straits. I talked about this guy, 84, 90 years old. He's driving the truck to help, you know, to pay his wife's medical bills. I want you to think about this. This is someone who did all the right things. Paid off his house, worked a good job, got a pension. It still wasn't enough. One of the core tenets of the Money Audible is going to be never retire. You should never aim to retire and do nothing. Our goal here is to get you to a point where you can live the life you want to live. I was kind of retired and frankly, it sucks. And this is why it sucks. And it, it comes to you in such a weird place because, you know, you got money, you got time, you get lonely. I know you never heard anyone say that because most of your peers, most of your friends are not living like you are living. They don't have the time to just piss off at 10 a.m. They got to go to work. A lot of people don't have a long lunch hour. Like, I got 30 minutes, so we've got an hour. If we meet here, they don't have the ability to leave their office and be gone for a couple hours. And what I found out was, and this is why I started the Craigslist protocols in overdrive. I've, I've done it for a few years before that. But it was like loneliness. I had a bunch of money. I had a good thing going on. I had a sweet place. But everyone else, when could they meet? Friday night, Saturday night. So even though I was a part and out of that, everyone I knew virtually was still in it, except for a lot of my internet friends. I started to develop these uh, internet friendships with people I had never met, but we talk all the time because we were only ones in that position to have the time to talk. You know, I jump on the phone in the middle of the day and like, hey, you know, I'm chilling. And that's very interesting because you, you never think that would be one of the issues with retirement. And I went and I talked to some old people, and that's a big issue of theirs. Even if they've done all of the right things and they have a house paid off, they got money, their stock portfolio is doing fine. This is why a lot of older people travel a lot and go see the grandkids because if they just sit at home, they wither away and die. So, what we're going to do is create economic models to get you, number one, out of the rat race. You, you're not going to make it in the rat race. The rat race was designed to kill you, to enslave you, to keep you trapped. It, it is nothing good about the rat race. Also, we're going to tamper down some of these expectations. If you start a side hustle and you say, my side hustle is going to be glorious in three to five years. You will do yourself a tremendous service because now a lot of that stress is off. It is very stressful to start a business and have it make enough money to keep the business going, make enough money to pay you, make enough money to spend money on the business. That's just hard. And this is why I never say quit your job to start a business. Keep your job until your job starts to interfere with your business. And let's talk about exactly what, you know, the, the parameters. Let's get specific. A lot of people talk about business as it's this abstract thing. If you create a side hustle or a side business that makes two, three grand a month, you make three grand a month. Your side business is making more money than 75% of the people in the country. You've done something. So how do we shift this side business into a, a business? There's self-employment and there's a business. Self-employment, you have to show up to make that money. Doctors are self-employed. 
if they're self-employed and not a salary employee of a health organization. Dentists are self-employed. That dentist will go from uh, being self-employed to a business owner. When this dentist puts together a practice, he hires four or five other dentists. He can go away for a month and he's still making money. He is a business owner. This is where we get into this stuff. Let's see. We get into the management. And, oh, I, I have to hit this pencil. Let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't want it to be gray. Let's see. Let's turn. Let's go to a nice blue. So we get into... All right, it's just going to stay here. Management. For you to get out of self-employment, I don't care if you're making a million dollars as a self-employed person. Until you get into the management, the team building process, you're not going to make as much money as you can. And this is one of the things which creates a problem. For me, it created a problem. I liked doing the videos. I liked doing the content creation. I didn't like the management. So I took a part why I did not like the management. And I was doing something I didn't want to do. That's why it was such a struggle. That's why it was like, I never woke up Monday morning like, fuck, I hate this. I never woke up like that. But it really dragged on me because I knew this, it wasn't something I wanted to do long term. And once everyone was satisfied and all the clients, uh, contracts were completed, I did not renew, I did not set up anything else, and I did not get any more long-term consulting clients like that because it's not something that I want to do. Going back to what we're going to do for you, you got to dig into yourself and figure out what makes you happy. Do you want to own a horse ranch? Okay. How much does land cost? How much do horses cost? Where can you do this? See, many of you come here and ask these questions, very simple questions that require complex answers. Let's just get away from this because you always hear this. It's like, what's this one piece of information that will help people out? There is no one thing. There is no two things. There is no three things. It's like 20, 30, 40 things that you must consistently do well or good to make that money. It isn't just one thing. Uh, you know why people ask that question? Because they're on the show and they have a time limit. They really can't get into the meat of the matter. These shows are 30 minutes, hour long, commercial breaks. The show, a uh, 30 minute show might actually be 20 minutes with all the commercials into it. So almost a third of that show is taken up by promotion. So they don't really have the time to delve deep into what it takes to be successful. So with the money audible, this is what we're going to do. And I'm not going to give you stuff that you want. I'm going to give you what you need. Because you're going to have to work with me to make your life better. Uh, many of you are addicted to hustler porn. I know you watch this channel. I know you like me. I know you appreciate it. But you're still addicted to hustler porn because... I watch other channels and I see you in the streams. I see you come in on this hustler porn because that long bomb, it, it happens. People win the lottery. It could be me. And you're, 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 you're pissing away time doing that. You, you just are. So we're going to get your hustle together. And let's talk about what we're going to in hustling. My second recession I was into resale. My business grew. I remember this guy, and I've told this story before. He owned a pest control company. He came in and he bought a bunk bed set for his two daughters. And we were just talking about business. And he was just like, yeah, I had to lay off 12 people. And this, you know, my girls need a bed and this is all I can afford. I heard story after story like that. And I had a great deal of empathy. I'm not, I wasn't the asshole that I am now. Seriously. And I was just like, man, that's tough. I didn't tell him that my business was blowing up. That was just been like rubbing salt into the wounds. So I know that you can grow a business in the recession if you're properly positioned. And we're going to talk about that. So, you know, we're going to get to the money basics like 
Let's talk about Bitcoin. Let's talk about cryptocurrency. There are many, and it's mostly men. It's not a lot of women. It's mostly men. There's some women who have gone all in on cryptocurrency. The long bomb. It could hit. Maybe it'll hit. Maybe it won't hit. But it can potentially hit. So you're in this situation where you have a great belief in cryptocurrency. So you're betting the farm. I don't think that's wise. But a lot of people are doing it. Because many people are predicated on the long bomb. Because let's just speak fact to truth. Building business over years is tough. It's hard. At times it can be boring. But that that long bomb, like you go from nothing to millions in a mere months or a few years, that's exciting. That's fancy. I will have none of that. None of that. None of it at all. But for those who want to build a real business, because we're going to get into questions and surveys and and because, you know, I got to get to know you guys much better. Because I know that I have million dollar clients, potential clients watching this channel, but I've had nothing for them because for the last nine years, I've been helping the average man. So there's nine years of videos here for the average man. Knock yourself out, watch the old videos and get yourself uh, tuned up. Going forward, the content's going to change. It's going to be for people who are serious about starting a business. If you're looking for some scam stuff, and we can talk about that. You know, people are really interesting creatures. If you're not the one getting scammed, but if there's a way that you can use the scam to make some money, you all down with it. You should be ashamed of yourself. I see this all over the place. It's like, hey, you know, if I can make some money, like when people do these affiliate programs to these crappy courses. And they're like, oh, it's, it's great. And this, this, this. Because it's like, if I sell two a month, that's $800, $2,000 a month. I don't care about my fellow man. I don't care about the average man. I just care about me, which is another issue with millennials. Because and you, you guys will figure it out. But to get to this level, you got to care about people. And you have to make a commitment. You may not necessarily have to commit to a man or a woman, but you must commit to something. And a lot of y'all have a huge commitment issue because many of you grew up the product of divorce and you're messed up. You had to get over that. <laughs> you're going to have to get over that because if you can't commit to something, you're going to be that cat man or that cat woman Living in a crate Well, some, you know, because, well, my my predictions are usually so far in advance of the, the event happening. People just like, whoa, that's too far. Uh, what's going to happen here in America is you're going to have people warehouse like cattle. You're going to have people living in these super, you know, the, the, the tiny house movement. Oh, that's going to be real. You're going to have families living in 500, 600 square feet. Yeah, that's coming because in the areas where the jobs, the land's going to be a premium. And, you know, part, you know, I'll, I'll do my economic moat uh, commentary later. I may even create another channel for it. But if you don't start taking action now, your future is not going to be that bright. The government will probably come up with some basic income, but it ain't gonna, it's just going to be barely enough to make it. And I'm, I'm talking about, you know, barely enough to buy some Roman Raymond noodles, buy some garbage food. You're going to have two distinct classes, those who have and those who don't have. And I'm not talking about what we have today. You got folks in the ghetto with cable, PlayStation, the Mercedes outside. Uh-uh. No, no. <laughs> We're going to be talking about... You ain't even have that. 
the people who have a 1500 square foot house live in a halfway decent neighborhood and have one or two cars that will be rich to you i'm telling you so the big theme is create income for the rest of your life i know that people want to just stop working and part of stop working is because they hate what they do i don't think it has to be like that i love what i do this is why i've been able to stick with it and whenever i get to a point where it's like getting dull it's getting boring it's getting monotonous i change it up hence this video uh, part of the problem is and i'll even go into further detail I've been monitoring y'all's behavior and the guys who like disruptive mail, they just want to get their dicks wet. They don't, they don't want any, uh, anything that moves them toward getting their dick wet. That's what they want. So that's, what's going to be a disruptive mail. I'm not going to change that. And then the people who want the money, they'll be over at moneyaudible.com. Uh, it's going to be very, very different content. And I've seen what happens with the YouTube algorithm. I know how to get around it, but it's time to put more people in the seat that I sit in. And part of that's going to be telling you the truth. You're not going to, I mean, it's 5,000 square foot house. It's the only bill that I have. And if I wanted to pay it off, I could. But why don't I pay it off? Because I can take a tax advantage from doing what I'm doing. I mean, just since I started studying real estate, the things that I can do because I have a heavy cash position. I want you to live the way that you want to live. And the way that you want to live and what may be successful to you, it may not be successful to someone else. I mean, the way that I live, uh, it, it's funny. I'm transferring money from MacDaddy Media to another company, and it, it's a loan. And I went to the bank and I wasn't really being clear. So I actually went and deposited three checks. They all know who I am in that bank, that branch. They all know who I am. It's like, I'm like they've been watching me, but I, I go in like this. I don't wear a suit. Actually, since I've lost so much weight, I don't even have a suit. Um, this would be woefully inadequate for many people. Having, you know, living like I live. Um, they would need to be traveling. So if you want to travel, calculate how much. Oh, let's talk about this. I was watching this video and this guy claimed to have three point five million, but was staying in sixty dollar hotels. I don't really think this person has three point five million. I really don't, because even at four percent, that's like one hundred and eighty K a year. Um, 180k a year passive income, and you stay in this. That that's just beyond cheap. That's asinine. Because whenever I go somewhere, I stay in a four star. I spend money like crackhead because I don't really go that work uh, that often. But just to hear this whole notion of that the only way to get rich is to be super super cheap. I talk about manage your money. I talk about um, being a good steward of money. I talk about not having a lot of debt or no debt. I'm with that program, but I am not with this cheap stuff, this cheap shit. I have in the budget, if I want some, I want it and I'll go out and get it. I don't do this all the time. You know, it can't be no more than 10% of the budget at any given time. I, I can't do that. And really, it's been about six, five or 6%. But I'll do it. I will treat myself nice. I'll get myself some nice. I'll, I'll do that. Because what is the fucking point in working this hard to live like a beggar? That makes no sense to me at all. It makes no sense at all. I, I'm just looking at this. And then it hit me. Many people are perpetrating the fraud online. This is why I show you my house. This is why I show you my vehicles. This is why if you've been watching the channel, you've seen me go up, 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 and up. That's called progression. Many people want the vanity of a like more so 
than putting in the hard work of building a business. This is the craziest thing. This is on my Facebook page. If you're a Facebook friend of me, you, you will see it. People are buying clothes from the mall to take selfies and they're returning that shit. Millennials, it's you. I don't care if you're mad. It's you doing that. Because to many of you, image and presentation are way more important than substance. Now, I, like I said before, you know, the hippies of the 60s and how they turned out. Many of you will turn out all right. Many of you will get past that. But damn. Buying clothes and re at, take selfies, renting jets on the runway to take selfies, renting Lambos to take selfies. What is it with you people that you don't really want to own anything? I don't understand it. Maybe it's, you can explain it to me because that is crazy to flex and floss and when you can actually build something, when you actually can build something tangible where if you want that Range Rover, you want that G-Wagon that you can actually go out and get it and pay cash. You can't do it today, maybe not tomorrow, maybe a few years from now, but you can do that. I don't get it. I ain't even teaching any shit like that. That's just crazy to me. That 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 is borderline mental insanity. That's a disease right there that you care so much about the validation of someone you don't know that it will make you do foolish things like that. Foolish. All right, back to this. So with the money audible, once again, new courses. Uh it's not set up yet. Uh, the day is Wednesday, so my goal is to get this set up this weekend. I got take, you know, I got to get pictures. I got, I got a whole little team now. I got, I got a little team here, so I can actually put this together. And then we will be adding you throughout into the new year. For those of you who are up on payments, uh, there's going to be an email that's going to come out there to the people who are behind. You, you will have a shot to come current. If not, all right. Bless you. you. You will have what you have. You will not get the new stuff. And we're going to delve into solid, time-tested business principles that very few people talk about because they don't know about them. They don't employ them. They, they have these platform-based um, business models that are about to be disruptive. Facebook is in trouble. Uh, Bitcoin. Oh, you know, uh, someone, a uh, Bitcoin will move 250 cat 250 million from one wallet to another didn't sell he just moved it from one wallet to another very interesting bitcoin is 100 percent driven by whispers you, you don't know for you old stock investors you remember the whisper rooms where people like whispers, whispers, and they would say some stuff and bam the price would go crazy but it was only temporary because marketplace fundamentals and dynamics always will come into play sooner or later Whisper room stuff. You, the stuff has because um, very two very interesting uh, dynamics. Uh, Trump and Bitcoin. You can have conclusive proof that Trump has made mistakes. Doesn't matter, and you can have conclusive proof that Bitcoin, which was almost twenty k sometime like this last year, is now down to. 4,000, because once again, manipulation, I expect it to go up to five before the big drop. And they're still like, I'm in, I'm all in, I'm all in. You know what someone said to me on Facebook? He said that he believed that Bitcoin was a gift from God. I stopped talking to him immediately. There ain't no point. You can't argue with that. You can't argue. I was like, hey, I'm out of this conversation. It's just going to go downhill from here. So we will be putting it out there now. Uh, one of the first things I'm going to do, and I'm going to do this because I'm testing this thing out right here. This is another test. I'm going to do the five checking account blueprint that will be free. So you, there will be a link below for you to get on that list. And that will probably be the first thing because that'll probably be the lead magnet. That'll be the freebie to the site. 
and we'll start there. We're going to get into more informative talks. And one of the things I'm going to do is for everyone that has paid, and you're going to get a phone call from me and we're going to talk about your business. Just as a, you know, a gratuity for, you know, you waiting because some of you waited, some of you have never said anything. Keep paying. Uh, I appreciate you guys. So you're going to get a phone. And this is only for the folks who have already bought in. If you haven't bought in anything, you may get a phone call next year on another. But for the folks who bought in, paid, who've been in the system, we're going to talk about a few things. But if you're new, that's to be determined. I have to be real clear because someone will, and I will get this email of someone who canceled and like, hey, G, can I uh, get that phone call? And can I come back at the price? And oh, yeah, I got a blacklist. Yes, I'm Santa Claus. I'm checking who's naughty and who's not nice. And they're on that list. And if you have screwed me, because I've actually gone after someone. He doesn't know it, but I'm suing him. And it's it's a long story, but he stole from me. It's not I think he stole from me. I know he stole from me. And I'm going to get him. But typically, if I can bring more people into the fold, you know, folks who want to work hard, folks who want to build something, folks who are not seduced by hustle the porn folks who are not seduced by bitcoin because um there was another person who said something about me guesstimating i've been guesstimating correctly all year long and i put up a post they're aimed at him i was like you know some people think i'm not smart i've weathered two recessions as a business owner and this person he don't have no business he works a job it's very interesting how people who have jobs can tell folks who've made money for two decades without a job that they don't know what they're doing. I found that to be very hilarious because this recession is going to expose people. It's going to bring out the truth. It's going to create new opportunities. It's going to shake out those weak hands. And there's a lot of weak hands in the marketplace right now. It's going to shake them all out. All right. So go below, get on the five check in the cloud blueprint email list. It's a new list. Uh, everyone who's on the old list, you're not coming over. I'm going to start this whole thing with a new email list, new artwork, new everything. That's what it's going to be. So with that, I'll see you guys later. Um, once I get everything toned up, I will do another video. So happy Wednesday.